I would study them for a while. That's what I would do. First things first. I would study them for a while. And I would see, I would employ the methods that I felt were the most effective. A lot of the times, you know, you start off with a little relationship that you have, a smile, you show them you care, and so on. And then you get to the point, you, the discussion comes up and you slowly but surely make sure that they, they have lent you an ear. Because for me, the study of the people you're going to be addressing is far more important than, uh, you know, uh, just going and slapping the, the message on their face. Because, mm. you know, it, there is something called tadrij. You know, you slowly but surely need to make sure that they are going to take to what you have to say. If a person comes to you and he's very close to you and you want to tell them something, it's easier than a person who hasn't come to you or a person who is not ready to listen to some topics. I mean, we have, I have people who I know don't want to hear certain topics and sometimes they need to hear it. So you would have to, at some point, find a way of getting the message across. You know, I give an example and I'm going to say this because I believe in studying uh, the scenario and employing the best methods, even if others don't understand them more than anything else. So I've, I've given this example in Dawa before, that of a burger. You know, the most important thing in that burger would be the patty in the center or the uh, what they would call the fillet or, you know, the chicken, the beef, the veg, whatever it is, that little patty in the center. But if you look at it, it's presented in such a delicious way that just by looking at it, your mouth is watering. The main thing to get in is actually the center. They've put in tomato sauce, they've put in lettuce, they've put in perhaps you know, uh, tomatoes and onions and mayonnaise and whatever, and it's dripping. They've added a plate of hot, extra crispy chips right next to that. And subhanAllah, <laughs> then they give it to you. And when they give it to you, you, you think, wow, lovely burger. You've bitten into it and you're munching it and you don't realize that the actual thing in there was, was a small bit, but that's what they needed to get into you, you know. So I think the da'wah, if you look at it from a strategic perspective, and if you're a person who studies the people you're going to talk to and how best you're going to get across to them, you would prepare their burger in such a way that they look at it and their mouth is just watering. They want more. They want to hear. And what I've realized is when you show that you care for the struggles that the people are going through, you win them. You win them in most cases. You really win them because Everyone has their struggles. Allah is testing everyone with a bit of hunger, a bit of fear, a bit of loss, loss of life. Look at Corona. Why did I go live every day for two and a half months from, from the ending of from the second half of March all the way to just after Eid? The reason it was very difficult for me, but I had to reach out to the people who were struggling because I've got emails of people who were suicidal, feeling at a loss. People who didn't know they were losing their faith, they began to question Allah. I told myself, listen, you have to talk to anyone and everyone out there. Give them the sense of belonging. Tell them things will be okay. Let them know that we're all going through it and we're going to come out of it. If people have lost their lives, give them a good word, a good dua, meaning give their family members a good dua. And, and if people have suffered a loss of job, they don't know what's going to happen. They have anxiety. Talk to them. That is part of da'wah. You have maintained their identity, their sanity. You have protected them from questioning Allah. And you have reached out to them. Now, when you talk to them, they will listen to you because they know this guy cares for us. Subhanallah. So 